by the time we come to example for this type of question, you should have a very good idea of your long division and your identity. So this is a question where we combine both idea. So when you see such thing, right, most of the time, most students are confused by the QX function. So what exactly is a QX? So if you still remember, right, uh, when you do the long division, you can actually change it into a format. Do you remember the format? Somewhere in the front part, we mentioned the format. The So when you do a long division, you will result in dividend equal to divisor times quotient plus remainder. So if you visualize, bring back this format on this type of question, this is how it actually looks up. Okay, sorry. Uh, yep. So let's bring back the format. So, so dividend is equal to divisor times quotient plus the remainder. So at the end of a long division, you should be able to get this relationship. So this polynomial given to you has this relationship. So this part here is like a dividend. So this part is like a dividend. And this is like the divisor. So maybe in this part, I'm going to do a manual expansion here. So if I expand this, I will get um, minus x minus 2. So this is a divisor. And this is the quotient that you are getting. So you, supposedly you do, 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 you will end up as the ax plus b. So supposedly you do, 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 you will end up as uh, ax plus b. So this feature is actually the remainder feature. So if you visualize this relationship as a long division, so if you go through your idea of a long division, this is x squared. What are you expecting to get here? So you are expecting to get x something. So in this case, I will be expecting to get 4x. So if you mentally go through the long division idea, you will expect that this is 4x because 4x times x squared will give you the 4x cubed. So you will be give, you are expecting that you will end up to be a 4x plus k. So in this case, right, uh, so if you expect the quotient to be 4x plus k, this is the, the structure of it. So it's actually power one. So, so the degree will be a power one. Okay, but if you go through the long division, the whole process of the long division, you can actually get everything. Okay, so let's run through the process of the long division. By uh, so by the time you are here, I will expect that you have no issue with your long division. That means, right, you shouldn't be making a lot of careless mistakes. So work through your long division. So you will get a 6x minus three. So if you work through your long division and you know that this part is actually the remainder, with the long division, you can directly tell the value of A and also the value of B. So in fact, with the long division, you can also tell that this is the quotient. Okay, so the whole question can be solved in this way. You can present it as a long division and you can solve everything. Okay, otherwise, you can do it like an identity. So you can do it like an identity.
when you are doing identities, the values you start is aim to make the bracket zero. So here, I'm going to sub a two. Because if I sub a two, I will get a zero. And zero multiplied by uh, the bracket here and the function here will actually disappear everything. Okay, so if you sub x equal to two, one of the bracket will become zero. And then the product will end up to be a zero. So if this bracket is made into a zero, the whole product with the qx will become a zero. So that's what we are aiming for. So I'm going to start a two. So if I'm going to do an identity by substituting a two, I know that this chunk will disappear. Okay, so I'm left with uh, 2a plus b. So 32 minus 24 plus 1. So I'll be getting an equation. So the next value I'll be substituting will be making this bracket 0. So if I can make this bracket a 0, okay, um, you can disappear the qx function as well. Okay, so you go for the x equal to minus one. So this whole chunk will disappear and you will end up getting a minus a plus b. So you will get a minus a plus b equal to minus nine. So you do your normal simultaneous equation. It should lead you to the same sets of answers. So you can do by the identity way or you can do by the long division way. Mm, which one I will prefer? I should have preferred the long division way. So it's your choice, but this is how you view it. So don't get confused with the qx. qx is just a name for another function. So in this case, right, the qx function is the quotient. So it, it is what you can achieve during your long division. Okay, so if you do this question with a uh, long division, you know what is your qx. But if you do this question with your method of identity, of course I wouldn't know what's my qx. If between these two, I personally feel that if you can understand the long division method better, there will be some other questions, higher order questions that you can relate to. So there are some higher order questions which relies heavily on this, which essentially is your long division. Okay, so hopefully you can understand this as a either as a long division or either as an identity idea.